Look at that man right there. Nice. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, we're gonna do a little vlog style today. So here at the Phoenix Art Museum, there is a, uh, hey look, it's Chris. I work down the street. He does. Yeah. Don't, it's not a fast food restaurant. Uh, so there's an exhibit here by an artist named Mister, and it's a, a premiere, his uh, premiere here in, in the States. It's pretty much just like an exhibition or uh, what is it, an exhibit mm -hmm. on Japanese culture and manga and anime and its effect on like the Western world. So the Sounds of My Town. Yeah, The Sounds of My Town. Mr. Yeah. The Sounds of My Town. The artist's name is Mr. So we're going to check it out and see uh, what it looks like, what it is, what's up. It looks pretty nice. Uh, Dave, do you have any final thoughts on this? Have you seen it or heard anything about this? Yeah, I saw uh, Murakami was in town yesterday to oh, check it true. out. It and I'm like heartbroken, but I, it's probably good if I didn't bug him, you know? Yeah, I think his his uh, the person who curated this exhibit knows Murakami and their friends, so that's how like I guess he shouted him out. But yeah, so we're gonna see what this exhibit's all about and see how cool it is. Yeah, and, I'm uh, very excited for it. Yeah, let you guys know how it is. just says so much about society as a whole, how we're just by ourselves. Alright, we finally made it. Here we go. Mystery to be here. The sound of this town. Yeah, I guess you can see it on camera, but this is like, oh, geez, I don't know, but like, like 14 feet? That's huge. That thing's sick. A little backdrop back there. That's pretty cool. We'll get a picture going soon. Everything is pretty well spaced out, and uh, this is insane. Definitely like talking sensor overload. This one's like probably one of my favorites right now. The other ones are cool because they're fucking huge and crazy, but this one's just like so simple. Background's nice, and then just like the contrast of like the real background and then like their faces it seems like <laughs> all cartoony. How cute, how, how kawaii, as they say. And it, you can just be in, you know, Japan chilling in front of a fucking survey. Then you look closer. There's like actually like further like pieces up. So I could barely tell. I was distracted for a second by the background. I didn't notice that there's like actual pieces just hanging. Very sick. Little hand drawn ones. That's so dope. And then there's like test footage of like we've all had to phase or we just wanna or and do some karate in our front yard. Look at this. Sick. Look at all these fucking weeds. Look at them. And I'm one of them. I think it's a pretty dope uh, merch for the exhibit too. Uh, I'll pick up these. Because I really enjoyed them. You gonna buy anything? Oh. oh. Alright, the boys are coffeeed up now. The, officially, we had a little day out of the museum. We got food, we got coffee. Uh, so yeah, the exhibit itself. Let's talk about it a little bit. Did you guys enjoy the exhibit? What do you think of it? Anything? Uh, any takeaways from this? I think it's a really interesting commentary on otaku culture and how it is both perceived and how we as people in the culture look at it from an outward pers uh, perspective. I thought it was very cool. Uh, I liked it a lot. A little small, but that's not on the fault of the exhibitor, more on the fault of the exhibiting location. Yeah, presentation, I really do like. It's loud, it's noisy, but I like how, you know, in the way that otaku culture, like a lot of cultures, uses their, like, respective medium as an escape from reality, because it's kind of, like, painted over, like, kiosk and, like, 7-Elevens. Like, they actually, like, kind of display it that way. I thought that was a nice touch. The coloring, also really crazy. Um, 
he does this thing, and I know me and Nate talked about it. I what is the name of the markers? Oh, like Copic markers. He, he has like this Copic marker effect on a lot of his paintings that really remind me of those like sketchbook anime drawings. Like you're in a drawing class, you your friend just spent like eighty bucks on a set of Copics, and they're like, "Do not draw a fucking stick figure with this. Like this is a lot of money, and it's for their like OC. Like it's." very specific to the culture mm -hmm. but then in the little J japanese alleyway that you guys saw where i was confused because it was looks like just a back screen uh backdrop and then the little paintings that were there i think those are all like submissions from like maybe children around japan or whatever who kind of like did their own drawing in class and stuff like that well one of those is like a full like hey this is where i go hiking in the mountains mm -hmm. and this is the trail i take it takes i, I did 2023 20, military time mission it's very interesting yeah. um i liked it a lot i thought it was fun I would recommend anybody in town go take a look if you have the opportunity. It's not very expensive for the, uh, the experience itself and for the greater museum as a whole. Yeah, it was definitely a fun, cool exhibit. Usually when we go, or when I go to the Phoenix Art Museum, they don't have anything like this. So I think it's cool that we have something like this of our own and we're kind of like premiering it to the world. Uh, kind of like helping Arizona get bigger than what we already are. I know we're kind of expanding one of the fastest growing cities, uh, but it's cool that we get something like this in town. And yeah, it is very like, just a commentary on otaku culture and i don't think it was he was trying to say anything like hey otaku culture is bad or anything like that i think it was just more so like hey this is what it is people are enamored by our culture now and this was kind of like his uh his love letter to that into society like okay yeah these are all big work fucking big weaves big otakus well here you go so yeah i did enjoy it i think this is the first time i've seen like I don't know if he's considered like a street artist, but it would seem more like a street artist have its own little uh, exhibit here. And that's cool that there's like someone like that can have a platform and be able yeah. to exhibit it here. That, that's the thing is like the the actual um, like pop imagery itself and, and colorized imagery itself is set against these really bleak, colorless industrial backgrounds which show like what would essentially be a city infrastructure and it, to me that rings true to home because i i looked at the art in some aspects the same way that i would look at graffiti like going about my day to day here in a major city in america like it was it was a part of it it was organic but it also felt foreign and like it was out of place to like you weren't supposed like it felt like the same way you look at graffiti in that aspect yeah like, oh that's nice but maybe that's not where that's supposed to be but that was kind of like the the whole uh I think that that whole deal is what I enjoyed the most about the exhibit. Mm -hmm. Was that it felt very, um, it it felt like something you wanted to. God, I can't I can't vocalize this opinion. Right, hold on, I'm trying to get it. Uh, it is. Hey, feels better. Uh, but yeah, the exhibit itself. Well, would I rate it? I'd probably give it out of ten. I'm gonna give like an eight point five to nine. And I know it's not like traditional art. So if you're like if someone who's into like traditional art and you go to a museum and you want to see like paintings and stuff like that, probably not going to be up your alley. But for anybody that is a uh, part of our culture that like, you know, is a big anime fan, big manga fan, anything like, um, even in like the printout that they had, it said otaku culture has evolved to a point where it's just, if you're a nerd about any little thing, about photography, about cars, about fashion, whatever it is, you fit in the realm of being an otaku. So if you're a fan of anything like this and you like, you geek out like this, this was for us and that's why i gave it 8.5 out of 10. it sucked don't see it yeah david what was your official rating on uh this exhibit what would you I, give I, it i think i'd say like a yeah like a like an eight to nine that's pretty strong i'd want. give it an eight to nine i'd yeah, give it an eight if to you nine. want if you want the yeah. euro stuff i mean go the next floor up right you want your rembrandts you want your monets this is like specifically like you know like internet culture like pop culture which there is not a lot of in the museum so it really is a breath of fresh air yeah it, did, it was pretty funny like going gets going with chris's point that it does feel like it doesn't belong here because it's so funny you can go from like renaissance style paintings abstract paintings oil paintings down to this and it's just such a harsh turn you're like oh but shit it, but it feels so <laughs> natural when compared to the actual like phoenix metropolitan backdrop yeah. and and the way that things are out here not to give a commentary to phoenix arizona as well, but it just like Go see it for yourself. You're going to look at it. Leave, look around, and then you'll be like, oh, wow. It's not that different. And I like that. Yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, definitely sensory overload, a lot of colors, a lot of uh, loudness to it. So Very cute you, Ouroboros. Yeah, when you leave it, oh, yeah, Chris liked the Ouroboros in the, yeah. the big mural. Uh, yeah, when you leave that exhibit and you come back to the real world, you're kind of like, oh, it's kind of like not as bright and happy. The world is so sad and bland yeah. now compared to it. So maybe that's why 
we are otakus of shit because we escape our reality and these bright colors and these noises and everything is coming at us at once and it makes us feel like we're not part of our world which is sometimes bleak but we escape with otakus mm -hmm. so otakuism as an escapism but yeah uh, overall the mr exhibit at phoenix art museum definitely uh would recommend all of us here gave it a pretty high rating go check it out for yourself hopefully you guys enjoy this little vlog style video i thought it was cool something like this was here in town so okay like, hey, we gotta go see it especially you know with our channel we gotta it kind of fits in the realm so uh thank you guys for joining me appreciate you guys road dogs as always uh shout out to chris shout out to david yes sir yes sir we're gonna follow and as well uh you guys can subscribe down below comment down below all that fun stuff everything is on the bottom below you beneath you uh so yeah till next time go make some art commit crimes do something to a bagel <laughs>